welcome to What's Growing at CMC, the weekly segment where I, Daniel, and I, Talasha, share some stories about the seedlings that God is sprouting in the College Mennonite Church family. If you're curious about how this recording happens, stay tuned for some behind the scenes pictures at the end of this segment. We got a lovely report of what's growing from the Seth and Sarah Yoder family. Sarah reports that their family is growing in their artistic abilities with sidewalk chalk. And in their ability to handle winning and losing in family games. In their gardening ability. And in their instincts to share things they don't need with others, offering them first to people that they know before they take them to a place like the depot. You'll see pictures of this in a little bit. We'd love to share stories of how other households are growing too. Speaking of growth, we hear a few of you are participating in a beard growing challenge. Daniel is not participating. This is his normal beard. I am grateful. John M. Hertzler reports that he is, quote, having a ball growing my beard and rather like it. He confesses to spending more time in front of the mirror than he used to. Arlen Huntsberger has also joined the challenge and finds letting his beard grow naturally to be very easy. He reports that not having to deal with shaving time or razor nicks is rather freeing. John F. Lapp reports that his beard growth is slowly changing his entire personality. People don't even recognize him on the phone anymore. He does admit to being intimidated by the competition. I mean, John and Arlen. And it's never too late to join the beard challenge. Just contact the office, let them know you're in, and email them a picture. Daniel, don't get any ideas. Family's got a chance to stop by the church to pick up family packs this week. They were greeted by a flamingo and a monkey who gave them a big bag full of ways to welcome the summer. There was also an anger bag with tools for expressing frustration. Thanks, Pamela, for putting these together. You will get a chance to participate in distributing similar things to the community and to children in the community later this summer. We can't do VBS on June 5 through 7, of course, but we still want to do some of the outreach that we would have done during that time. So stay tuned for ways that you can help. We have a special guest here now to tell us about more ways the COVID-19 fund is being used. So Madeline, welcome. Thank you, Daniel and Talasha. You have all have been so generous. We have been able to help many people with many different needs. We are feeding about 200 people weekly. We are giving them staples, foods that they can make things out of, and we're including recipes so that they can try making new things. Whenever we can, we include meat and fresh fruits and vegetables. We also include toilet paper, soap, and other necessities. When we give these boxes, we include a note of love and care from College Mennonite Church. We have been able to reach and build relationships with many new people in our community. Through this ministry, we also have purchased supplies for Juana, Maricruz, and Adoracion to make masks to donate to the community. Other COVID-19 funds have been used for paying rent for eight families, NIPSCO bills for 11 families, and water bills for three families, internet and internet for several families. We have 15 people from this church giving their time to help with this ministry. Thank you. We have received many thank you notes and I will read you a few of them. I've translated these into English since they were written in Spanish. Blessings, Pastor. How are you? I wanted to thank you for some provisions that I received. Thank you for and bless the church and all the leaders who make this blessing a possibility. May your lives be filled with rich blessings and may the Lord continue to put in your hearts to be able to continue helping your neighbors. Thank you, Madeline. And thank you to all of you who have freely given to this ministry. This week, our staff shout out goes to Scott Litweiler. Scott, always at work behind the scenes, has needed to take on some additional roles during this time. He has filled in the jobs that volunteers normally fill. 
He has set up online accounts to manage church funds, learned new software, and provided answers to all of the financial questions that you have. Scott is making it possible for us to respond quickly to the needs of our community. The work Madeline just shared about is all supported by the work that Scott is doing. Thank you, Scott, very much. I've long joked that Scott actually lives at the church, but he's proving that even when he works from home, he gets a lot done. Yejin Kim, an integral part of our CMC family, is moving to South Korea on Wednesday. Yejin will be rejoining her parents and her youngest sister there. Her other sister, Yujin, will be staying here in Goshen to complete her studies at Goshen College. And as of now, her brother Hajin will be staying here to continue work in his field of accounting. Yejin has been a huge part of our worship life here at CMC, offering her piano and violin skills regularly. She also was on staff here for a few years, coordinating our musicians. Yejin, we are going to miss you. If you'd like to help send Ye Jin off on this part of her life's journey, join a drive-by farewell on Tuesday. We will meet in the church parking lot at 2 p.m. and then drive by to wave and honk and yell our love to Ye Jin. We also want to remind you that it is time to cast your ballots for congregational representatives to the church board. Ballots can, can be submitted online and are due by May 31st. The work of the church continues, even when we can't be together. We are all getting impatient to be together again. We are working closely with the college to coordinate how and when we can reopen. We know we will not gather at least until July, and we aren't sure what things will look like when we are back together. It's time to get creative. The people of God learned during the time of the exile that God can be worshipped in ways that they hadn't imagined. And the same is true for us now. Learning to worship and be the people of God in new ways isn't a new thing. And we're in good company. The church choir is doing this already. One of the things that they missed about choir was the sharing and prayer that they always opened their rehearsal times with. So... They have stayed in contact through email and phone calls and Zoom meetings so that this important part of the choir ministry can continue. Singing together on Zoom is less than satisfying, so the choir is hoping to put together a virtual choir performance. Speaking of singing over Zoom, we may have said last week that Sojourners is singing together over Zoom. Yeah, and when I heard that, I thought, wow, I can hardly get the youth to say the Lord's Prayer together over the Zoom. But then I thought, well, it's Sojourners. So surely they can find a way. Well, it turns out Sojourners are humans, just like the rest of us. We reported incorrectly. Someone plays a hymn that they listen to. They don't actually sing together over Zoom. Okay. Now back to the CMC Chorale. They are aware that singing together is like coughing on each other. So they know it will be a while before things return to normal for them. They are carrying on in faith and hope. Thank you, choir, for giving us a window into your worshipful life together. Speaking of worship, next Sunday is Pentecost. Come to worship prepared. You will need communion elements. Anything made of dough like bread or crackers will do for the bread. And any natural beverage, as in not pop or Gatorade or Kool-Aid, that will do for the juice. You may also want to bring some bubbles and or some fiery cloth that you can wave. And don't forget to wear the colors of fire. Share your pictures of your Pentecost attire and activities with us. And if we can get enough of them, we can create a Pentecost photo collage. There's something growing here at CMC. We are grateful to be on this spirit-filled journey with all of you. And we'll be back next week with more stories. God was, God is, and God will be. Thanks be to God. and 
sowing, planting and hoeing. There's something showing, popping up through the sod. The spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing. There's something showing, popping up through the sod. The spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God.